Hello and welcome to RA Place Crowded Voodoo Dot. This is episode 6. And it looks like, or let's, let's see if we have finally solved our food issues. I am still gonna buy a bunch of fine meals because I we don't have any right at the moment and I don't want them to go hungry. But let's see if we now actually have enough people to make uh, let's see to make the yeah so this is actually quite good right so we see that most of the wheat is being turned into bread before it's eaten that's pretty important um, yeah that's that's really quite nice like they're they're getting a lot of bread into storage people are eating it which is good and everyone is at, at like at least somewhat at a hundred percent efficiency so i guess we want to build another house yeah that makes sense yeah we're really yeah we're really moving into the territory where we uh, are actually able to do stuff and, and progress in the game. There's, there's bread in stock and people are not just jumping on it like hungry wolves, so that's, that should be a good sign. Mm, we might want to... Rising price of beer. Okay, well, then I guess I'm not gonna buy any beer. And uh, yeah, so so basically, we want to build out our city, and uh, yeah, like people will be coming in, new children will be born, and then we should be able to grow out. Like we'll we'll we don't actually need much. In terms of, uh, oh, looks like we are out of bread now. Let's let's buy some more fine meals just to make sure people don't eat the wheat before we. Uh, like we still use our tax income to supplement the food supply, even though it's spring. So that's, I don't see that as a good sign. So we might wanna and. So if we look at the ratio adults to children, then that's probably part of the reason why this is this way. Um, but yeah, let's see. So this is sort of natural, we have a lot of new people moving in, so let's put them to work. Uh, let's see. Like a bunch on the farm, how many can we have in the bakery? Three. Let's, let's just put a full 30 people in the bakery, right? That's the farms they, they are the most important part like the, the food loop that's that's kind of key um, yeah. We're, yeah, we should be making more stone and um, maybe we could yeah, we're gonna add some people onto that make sure we get more the Okay, fish is, is falling in price, that's uh, interesting. Um, yeah, but if we look at our bread stockpile, like it's, it's... We might actually get through a day without spending money on food. Okay, maybe not. Like, uh, I don't think we can see the time anywhere, right? I guess we're gonna we're gonna build uh, buy some uh, fine meals still. Like it, it's we're not spending our money on uh, research anyway. Like we first need to grow for that. So this is fine as is. Um, we have plenty of housing capacity. So we'll have some people move in. I think. Let me check. So I think we can see that here. Yeah, so 27 people will move in if they can, uh, which they could. And maybe if I build another house, it will be more. 
that might be interesting. Ooh, what's going on here? I guess... Yeah, okay. I guess we have a lot... Yeah, we have some people who died and then... A lot of children who can't work. Let's decrease this a little bit. It looks like, yeah, we're, we're going through the night with a nice stockpile of food. But we still we still need to make it through winter, right? That's that's the biggest thing. Could we? Sh we could. No, we can't. It doesn't look like we can shift this, right? We can shift this. That works, but these guys don't look like it. So there's 900 food consumed every day. Okay. I'm not sure if these count as one, but if they do, that's that's pretty rough. Yeah, a bunch of new citizens moved in. That's good. We can uh, send some to the farm again, some some to the mines. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, why is the tool thingy saying it? I'm, I'm not sure why this is yellow. Production limits 50. Uh, is it hitting production limits? Do, do, do we not have to? Oh yeah, we have a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, I guess people... Hmm, okay, let's increase that then. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... My so it looks like people are not producing more because they've hit the limit but since the limit is not in storage they can't pick them up or something or actually so the people who need tools probably are about to pick them up may I, I hope let's see There's a bunch of people in need of tools, and we have a bunch of tools, but they're not being picked up, and I'm not sure why. But on the other hand, we have a bunch of bread, and I haven't bought fine meals today. So we might, like, I guess it's lunchtime and we might need to buy some, but on the other hand it looks like we're fine, surprisingly. So that would be a big, big pro. How are we on nutrition? 50%. So my guess is if, let's, let's switch some of these to vegetables and see what's going on there. Like see if we can make, if we can do better on nutrition. Oh, and this, yeah, okay, interesting. Okay, it's gonna, be, it's about to be winter, isn't it? Yeah, so people are eating at night, basically. Yeah, so my guess is, given that it, it was like 900, they might actually eat like five times a day or something. That seems kind of steep. But we do have enough to get some fine meals, uh, and, and we're gonna have to, because we need to bring people through winter, right? Um, so I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made last time and build houses in winter, like we can do that in the spring. We are actually... I thought the storage limit was practically infinite, but we're we're doing some stuff that makes us hit that, which I'm not sure what is in storage. Like if we look at this, then I guess it's yeah, it would be. But even like if we look at the iron, like it doesn't look like we should be getting close to like 2k objects. Or it's so rather, well, I guess, so this alone is 2k, but I, I can't see how we would get to 6,000 objects in storage. 
That's a little bit uh, of a mystery to me. See, this needs furniture, which I think needs the next level up. Um, yeah, we we want to build them more housing, but we want to do it when it's spring because at this point we would just be adding mouths to feed through winter. We still have bread though, like there's wheat coming from somewhere. My guess is the farm storage areas or something. Yeah, okay. So, ah, so this is probably what's going on, right? So we're not, we don't see what's in storage over here. And yeah, these storages, they are quite full. So this, this, I think this is just one of the things that, that belongs to a game that's, that's in early access, like niceties like these, like the fact that these storages are not counted towards this interface, but they are counted towards this. That That is kind of confusing and that's what's going on, right? Oh, we need more people in the warehouse, of course. That's what's going on. We need more people to haul goods. Yep, okay. That makes a lot of sense, right? So that pr should prevent us from starving, probably. Okay, it's spring, so let's build some more houses. Maybe even two? We can, right? Oh, we can build a lot, actually. Let's uh, make some nice, uh, nice rows of houses. Yeah, and we're gonna really start uh, Nice town. Do we want to run a road up here as well? I think so, right? I'm not sure if it's. Let's see, this needs more, but so why not? I mean, okay, because we don't have enough brick, but yeah, it's a shame. Let's uh, let's open up the brickyard again. Uh, maybe like three three people, not too much. We still need the stone. We do have, I think, 200 people is the next level for for getting more science unlocked. Yes. Okay. So this is really what this is what I was missing, right? We just didn't have enough people working the warehouse, and that was what what was causing the issues. Like we had a lot of, of stuff here, like in the farms, um, but there just weren't enough people to bring it home, literally. Let's see, how many can the warehouse take? Oh, max 50. Uh, I guess we can go to up to 30 between these two, but if we need more, then I guess so be it. Yes, okay, so now we're really like we're really going ham on our stockpiles, right? Th this is what we were waiting for Okay uh, So we we probably want to build a road down here as well uh, With this I guess uh, So maybe yeah, We're not gonna Go there, yeah, we've got a nice village, okay, oh, that's not what I want, I want like, to connect the roads up here and up, but that's, yeah. now we're, we're really getting somewhere, okay, let's see, so we can do more research, we can do medicinal herbs, we can do science simulation. We can do education or world. Let's do education. That seems fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're really going ham on the bread now. Yeah. The 
the warehouse thing was was uh, mm, yeah was really the thing that that were, was bottlenecking us. Okay, yeah. Education is finished, so let's get some education in here. We need more planks for that and we need more bricks. So let's uh, set that plank limit. I'm pretty sure that's pretty low. Yeah, let's set that to like a thousand. And how much bricks do we need? 300, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, open up the brickyard a little bit more. Yeah, and actually, so at this point, we have plenty, yeah, we have a ton of food, so we can start uh, going a little bit harder on all of these. Right, let's uh, make sure that we have a ton of stone and wood. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Uh, this demands money, okay. Provides learning to the children. And let's see, uh, we can also do New World, which just increases happiness for everyone. That seems pretty solid as well. Yes, okay, we're actually getting a ton of bread now. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, some vegetables as well. So that's... Um, switch over this farm up here to um, fruits yeah it's really starting to get crowded now just a little bit actually my guess is let's see if we look at our milestones yeah, okay so it's currently up to big city with regards to uh, science stuff, so that's 5,000, so that's quite, quite a bit more still. Something bleeped, but I'm not quite sure what. I guess, oh yeah, this is the research, right, that's probably it. So, science stimulation, oh yeah, we should have done this first. Research cost minus 5%, that's pretty solid. Uh, yeah. So next up is gonna be a school. Um, yeah, so it we want one per residence. And uh, we want some more planks and some more bricks, but uh, that will come. Science simulation finished, and yeah, medicinal herb is gonna be next. Makes our people healthier. Yeah, that uh, seems nice. Yeah, I'm really starting to, to get into this game. Like, I'm between the developer making, like, Good, probably good changes um, uh, and updates. Uh, the the feel like being really really good. Uh, it's like the the getting started of the game could get a little little easier. Um, so one of the problems was that I played the tutorial and then later. When I started a new save, I couldn't resummon the tutorial screens, which was kind of um, awkward, and that's probably what led me to um, sort of mistaking whether we could, uh, like, actually get a lot of people, or the, the amount of people that we could work on each farm. Like that led me to building multiple farms and waiting for that. Um, 
and then what we had oh, let's uh, wait we can't use those let's uh, increase the logging camp a little bit then the mines as well lumber mill speed up a little bit yeah this all seems fairly important yeah, and we have the people now to run it and food wise we're, we're doing pretty great so let's uh, let's really start to scale up can we oh this actually requires 50 tools as well uh, let me then like increase this limit a little bit like 400 that seems fine that that will make sure that we have enough maybe we we need to build another warehouse at some point to make sure that we can we can carry everything over so the the stuff that is, is still missing to really polish this is stuff that for example indicates that like you could you would want at some point to have a a way to see like hey why is something going on and then and in particular stuff like why are my where is my wheat going like is it being baked into bread or, or is it being eaten and and then the other thing is the confusion between like local storage and, and storage in the warehouse um but in general like i'm i'm feeling very uh, sort of comfortable with this game it's it's you can ease into it and it's a little like it takes a little bit to get the hang of it but in general like it's it the ergonomics are quite quite good like uh, for the aesthetics are also pretty okay for an early access game like it's not like the graphics aren't the, the most impressive but it's it doesn't look like a prototype right it, it could be a finished game so besides the polish it's the research tree right so the, the milestones that at some point no longer have effects that's that's what you um, what you notice um, yeah I guess we uh, if we look at the logging camp this is at max if we look at the mines we can spend a lot more effort there. But let's uh, get that up. Oh, that's actually at the top. This at the top. These can be higher, actually. So let's do that. Let's see. We're going through winter now, which is interesting. But we have, like, we have a ton of bread. We still have some wheat we can bake into bread. So that actually should be totally fine. Like, if it's not, we're gonna buy some. Um, yeah, I actually think we do want to build a house though. Or uh, how are we on the education? Can we build that? We can build it. Okay, that that's, uh, has a pretty nice range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure those houses fall in range. And then build more houses over here. Uh, this should be fine, this should be fine probably need people to work at the school as well yeah yeah I'm gonna cut this episode here uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time